Today, we're gonna to be checking out the Canon EOS R50, which is a compact and lightweight camera, ideal for street photography and travel. We're in the beautiful city of Melbourne, and it's an amazing day to take some photos and video clips. So let's head over to our first destination and check out the new Canon EOS R50. So we're now in the iconic Federation Square here in Melbourne, and I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the specifications of the camera. First of all, one of the attractions of this camera is the fact that it's so lightweight and portable. It's around 375 grams in weight body alone. By the time you add the kit lens, the 18 to 40 kit lens that I have here with me today, it's just over 500 grams. So once again, that makes it ideal for travel and street photography. It's got the APS-C sensor shooting at 24 megapixels. And of course it shoots at 4K 30P, which is great for vloggers. It doesn't have 60 frames per second in 4K. So if you do want to get slow motion video, you're going to need to go down to 1080p. There is a higher model, the EOS R10, which shoots in 4K 60, but for a limited duration. We'll now move down to the lower atrium at Fed Square, an interior space, as you can see. In terms of its ability to shoot in darker environments interiors, we have an ISO of 100 to 35,000. We're now gonna head over to Hosea Lane, which is a well-known place to take photos, especially if you're a tourist here in Melbourne. There's lots of graffiti on the walls. It's one of the most well-known laneways in Melbourne. Let's go ahead and have a look. I'm gonna be using the 18 to 40 millimeter kit lens, and this gives you the opportunity to shoot wide angle shots as well as telephoto. Now this is an APS-C sensor, so keep in mind that you get a 1.6 crop when shooting with this camera compared to the original EOS R. So that means that an 18 millimeter focal length is kind of equivalent to around 28 millimeters. We're now in ACDC lane. I've just taken some still photos, which you would have seen on screen, but let me just tell you a little bit about the 4K recording capability. So we're actually are using the Canon EOS R50 for this video shot right now. We're shooting in 4K 30p and it's using eye auto detection focus. And the great thing about the auto focus is that it can detect face, eyes, body movements in humans, animals, and also in moving objects such as cars or any type of vehicle. So this is gonna ensure that you keep all of your subject matter in focus at all times. A visit to Melbourne wouldn't be the same without visiting one of the well-known cafes. And we're at center place here, taking a break, having a coffee, and we're using the EOS R50 shooting 4K video at 30p. Now, as you can hear, it's a very noisy environment. So I've taken advantage of the 3.5 input and we're recording the audio with the Rode wireless scope. The Canon EOS R50 has a three inch LCD display, which is fully articulated. So you can flip it around for a front facing selfie view, or you can view it from the back. It also has an electronic viewfinder. The EVF is really important when you're shooting outdoors on bright days like today. You can bring the camera up to your eye and you can compose your shot. And no matter how bright it is, you'll get a great shot using the EVF included in the Canon EOS R. We're on the Evan Walker Bridge, which is right in the middle of South Bank. And for this final scene, I wanted to talk about another amazing feature that I think you'll love on the Canon EOS R50, and that is Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity. So what you can do is you can connect it to the EOS utility app, whether you're on an iPhone or Android phone, and you can take your photos on the camera and instantly view them on your phone. And in addition to that, you can also monitor the video on your phone as you're shooting. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you on the next one. Bye for now.